In this training video, we're going to show you how to utilize Mystical Lighting and Ambiance's Misty Light Effect in combination with a masking layer. Let's set up the Misty Light Effect. Essentially, I'm going to bring in the Misty Light. I'm going to choose a light beam and let's choose one down here that's got a lot of diversity to it. All right, I like beam 15. That's going to stream across the T-Path control. As you can see, the beam is very well defined. I'm going to choose an atmosphere now that streams into the beam. And I'm going to choose a smoke effect. I can adjust the strength, the density, the softness, and vary up how the smoke effect looks inside the beam. In this case, I'm going to increase the strength of the atmosphere and decrease the density. I'd like it to be soft and subtle in the background, not too overpowering. It needs to be gentle. I'm going to increase the spread of the beam and that basically casts it out wide. You can see if I decrease the spread it's going to make it a narrower beam. In this case let's go up wide again. You can also fade the beam out or increase the fade amount which basically cast it out further at the end. You can soften the beam or you can have it sharper and more defined. In this case I'm looking for a softer look. Alright, I like how that looks. Look at the original and compare it. Now as you can see the effect looks like it's applying in front of the lady. The light streams coming across the scene evenly. Let's go over to the layer palette and click the mask layer at the bottom. So you can see when I do that a masking layer appears at the very top of the uh, layer palette. I see the masking layer controls on screen. I'm going to click on the masking layer and drag it to the bottom. When I do so the effect disappears. I'm going to choose the lasso tool over here, the green lasso tool, and I'm going to draw a loose lasso around the scene. It doesn't have to be very tight because it's basically going to be spread and faded into uh, the area around which I'm drawing. This is a nice feature because you can quickly cut a mask around your image and if you think about it, a lot of times light will fall upon uh, an image. In this case I want just a tad bit of the light to appear around and on the scene that I'm selecting. In this case the lady. So I've drawn it slightly on the inside. Now let's go get uh, our lasso palette. On the lasso palette you can see there's a spread slider. As I adjust the spread slider it feathers out the area in which I've lassoed. If I decrease it to zero you can see a very sharp mask. In this case I'll have a spread of about, uh, let's set it at 12 and see what that's like. Okay, that looks fine. Now let's click back on Misty Light again. It re-renders the effect and we can see what the masking layer looks like. Very good, it's protecting the lady. Let's look at the original. Okay, I like how that looks. Now let's go ahead and draw a couple of more T paths on screen here. And you can see how this basically can protect and shield no matter what you have going on. The masking layer is going to keep that area we've drawn protected. I'll position this over here. And let's go over and grab our other T path and move it. Can angle it a little bit like this. Okay, I like how the beams are crossing behind her. That creates a nice background scene. Check the original out. Okay, now let's go apply a different effect. I'd like to try a spotlight effect. Now you're going to notice as many effects as you apply, the masking layer is going to keep it shielded and protected. Uh, anything that's above the masking layer in the layer palette stack is essentially shielded from any results. So I can sit here and apply spotlighting as much as I like. We'll go back to the masking layer and that's basically how you do it. I think that's a great looking effect. It's quick and it's easy.